This is Usha from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today I am going to explain about the topic Augmented Paths from Advanced Algorithm. What is a maximum cardinality matching? Maximum cardinality matching is the maximum number of edges in the matching graph. Here, first of all, we have to know about what is a free vertex. A free vertex is nothing but if M is a subset of E is a matching for G, then any vertex B is called a free vertex if it is not an end point of any element of M. Here, if you take this matching graph, matching path, the vertices in the yellow color are called the free vertices since they are not involved in any of the matching graph. Since they are not involved in the matching edges, these vertices are called free vertices. So, what is an al alternating path? A simple path in G whose edges alternatingly belong to M and to E minus M. Here, the edge, this edge is not matching edge. This is a matching edge. This is a not matching edge. This one is a matching edge which is indicated by M. This one is a not matching edge. This one is a not matching edge. So this path is nothing but a alternating path. Since there exists one not matching edge, one matching edge, not matching edge, matching edge, not matching edge. So this is nothing but a alternating path. What is augmented path then? An augmenting path with respect to M is nothing but an alternating path between two free vertices. This is also a augmenting path because here the path is the alternating path and also the two end vertices are the free vertices since these two vertices are not involved in the matching. So this path is nothing but the augmenting path. If G contains an augmenting path P, then a matching M can M dash can be found such that the number of edges in M dash is equal to the number of edges in M plus 1 by reversing the roles of the edges in path P. Here, if you take the above path, this is the augmenting path because there are two free vertices at the at the end and also there is an and there is a not matching edge matching edge not matching edge matching edge and not matching edge this is a augmenting path brief with free vertices at the end what what here says means if g contains an augmenting path p then we can add one more edge to the matching graph by reversing the roles of the edges in this augmenting path P. Since we are reversing the roles here in the above graph that is not matching. In this graph this is matching M dot M this edge is matching and this one is not matching. This is matching. This one is not matching. This is matching. Here in the augmenting path, how many matching edges are there? Here only two are there. Whereas here, if you reversing the roles of the edges, then how many matching edges are there? One, one, two, three. Here the matching edges are two. Here the matching edges are increased by one. By this we can say that in any graph if we found an augmenting path then we can add one more matching edge to the matching graph. For example, if you consider this graph M, the matching graph M consists of the edges E3 and E8 and if you consider the augmenting path among E1, E1, 
E3, E5. Here, this vertex is a free vertex and also this vertex is a free vertex. This vertex is also free vertex. This path along E1, E3, E5 is a augmenting path. E1, E3, E5 is a augmenting path. Now we are reversing the edge rolls. In the augmenting path, this is not matching, this one is matching, this one is not matching. If we reverse the edge rolls, then this becomes the matching edge, E1 becomes the matching edge, E3 becomes the not matching edge, E5 becomes the E5 becomes the matching edge. Here, by finding the augmenting path, we can add one more edge to the matching graph. That is, now the matching graph consists of how many edges? E1, E1, E5 and also E8. Previously, previously the matching graph M consists of two edges, E3 and E8. By finding the augmenting path between E1, E3, E5 and also reversing the edge rows, we obtain two more matching edges that is E1 and E5. Now, the new matching graph consists of the edges E1, E5 and E8. Algorithm says means there is an M augmenting path if and only if M is not a maximum cardinality matching. Which means that if there exists any augmenting path, we can add one more edge to the matching graph. The theorem suggests an algorithm to find a maximum cardinality matching. So, the algorithm starts with an arbitrary matching. It might be a null matching also. Repeatedly, we have to find the augmenting paths along M augmenting paths until no such path exists in the graph. The process is bound to terminate a maximum matching has finite cardinality. Each augmentation increases the cardinality of the current matching by 1. As we already know, if we found any augmenting path, we can add one more edge to the graph matching. Here, what is the problem in this? Algorithm means for finding the augmenting path in such a simple graph, it takes a long time. If we want to find augmenting path for a complex graph, for a complex graph, it takes so much time. So, here the problem is specifying a systematic search for M augmentations. This problem can be overcome by Edmunds. Edmunds Blossom algorithm which was found by the researcher named Edmunds. So, this problem of Specifying a systematic search of M augmentations can be found using the algorithm called Edmunds Blossom algorithm. So, this is all about the augmenting paths, characterization of augmenting paths, finding the maximum matching by the augmenting paths. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.